Hey everybody and welcome to a new WWE figure vlog and today I wanted to show you of course like in the title the Elimination Chamber but I also do have some new WWE figure pickups like this entrance great Jeff Hardy maybe you've seen it on my Instagram and yeah I also want to thank you guys for the support on the GCW Raw Rumble that has been absolutely insane and I'm really glad to be back at making WWE pick that uh, the Royal Rumble was a success, I would say for sure. We're already at like 10,000 views now, closing in on 11. And yeah, it seems like a lot of people enjoyed the show, so that is awesome. And yeah, we're going to have the Elimination Chamber coming up soon, the very first GCW Elimination Chamber. So I hope you guys are all looking forward to that. Uh, right now, I'll get into the newest pickups that I have, and then we'll get right into the Elimination Chamber. So stay tuned for that. So here we are looking at my new pickups. You can see the Elimination Chamber in the background, but I want to get into the figures first. So I got these two Elite 54 figures from a day or action figures. And um, I think this Bray White is an absolutely great Elite. Glad to finally have that. Took me a very, very long time to get it. But this is such an awesome Elite. I do have the WrestleMania 33 attire custom that you probably have seen during the GCW Raw Rumble. But this one is a really cool figure. Really glad to have this Bray Wyatt with the coat, the lamp, and the detail on it is just absolutely beautiful. Really would recommend you guys to pick that one up for sure. Then we have this John Cena from Elite 54. I don't really know, I just kind of wanted this Cena as well. And um, actually there they send their action figures t-shirt with this. I obviously got the Elite 54 shirt as well. But yeah, I wanted to put the custom shirt on it here. It looks pretty cool. I don't know if they will include that shirt with every order or if I'm special, I don't know. But yeah, this is like, Really cool, uh, obviously not sponsored or anything. I did buy these myself. And then also not sponsored, I got from Ringside Collectibles. I got the entrance grades, Jeff Hardy. I actually got two of them. Uh, I ordered together with my friend. I already shipped uh, his out to him. But yeah, the entrance grades, Jeff Hardy. So excited for that. Um, really had to to pre-order that because I thought it was um, obviously Jeff's is it the first time in the line I, I don't really know if you count Elite One but yeah I was so excited for this entrance grades and yeah it's such a cool figure I love that it plays the no more words theme there you go I think it's such a beautiful figure and obviously had to pick this one up as well the epic moments um, Hardy Boys from Wrestlemania um, I still have to open these up Matt and Jeff just incredible figures uh, this is probably the best epic moment set they have made so far the festival friendship was pretty cool too but I don't feel like I really would use the figures at all so um, yeah I just picked this one up and obviously we're getting the um, milk battle thing with Angle uh, Austin and Stephanie soon so I don't know if you guys are excited for that but I will probably not pick that one up I'm really excited though for the elite 59 angle that looks insane I have to pick that one up for sure and yeah these are the pickups that I have um, got a bunch of more stuff coming soon uh, maybe you've seen me post about it on my Instagram but there's a lot of stuff coming but yeah I would say these are the pickups and let's get into the elimination chamber next so here we are you guys can see it here we do have the elimination chamber set and which is really cool about this as you guys can see in here this is the raw main event ring from Mattel that came with the Bill Goldberg figure now um, I had this elimination chamber place it now for about a year unfortunately um, I got it and the ring that it came with was broken and I really could never use it and now I figured out that it fits around the raw of um, main event ring and this is so awesome it like it like legitly fits I would say pretty perfectly um, I don't have the other part of the roof on here because 
it's not really that sturdy so it, it keeps falling and I just wanted to film in here too so you guys uh, get a little inside view here you can see the raw main event ring and the uh, real scale elimination chamber and obviously um, we can light up the raw posts as well so you guys can see it's really the Mattel ring there you go they light up right there so yeah I think this is so awesome and yeah this will be the chance for me to do the first ever GCW elimination chamber I'm going to post a match card announcement for that uh, this Saturday so stay tuned for that I would say now we're going to put some figures in here. Uh, what I wanted to point out again, this is the Jax Elimination Chamber Real Scale playset. Um, that came out a really long time ago. I'm not sure if Mattel is ever going to make a ring like uh, a cage like that for the Raw main event ring. It would be cool. We're obviously getting the SmackDown one as well. So uh, if they would make that, I would probably buy it too because it might would be the the updated chamber. So that would be awesome. But yeah, let's put some figures in here. Um, pretty much the participants of this year's Elimination Chamber match and then take a look at it then. So here we are with the setup in the chamber. We got Braun Strowman going for a power slam on the miss. John Cena kind of trying to put Roman in the STF. I mean, Cena, did you see like how Cena put Balor in that STF, it looked like really bad like a couple weeks ago. And then we have Rollins uh, hitting the power bomb into the chamber. Unfortunately the roof is not really that high that you could do like spots off the pod which is unfortunate. But yeah this is kinda the look of it inside here. Um, let's get the camera a little bit lower. Here you can see Braun. I think it's a really really good looking playset and yeah I'm really glad to have this now around my raw ring I'm going to be using that um, I'm going to make another video like Elimination Chamber preview uh, that a lot of you guys uh, requested that I do pay-per-view previews predictions something like that again so I really want to get that out on Friday to you guys and yeah I hope you guys Kind of enjoyed the look at this elimination chamber. I think we're going to take some more angles here. It looks so cool in the arena. Like as here you've got the announced team, and yeah, here you got the whole setup. And yeah, if you're going to make a pick fed in that, I think I'm going to have to take that part off so I can get my hands in there and and post the figures and take the pictures. I'm not sure if I'm going to let the roof on. I think I saw um, like when when Harrison or Cody used that, that they took off the roof. So I, I probably will do that too, it will be a lot easier. And you obviously can't do spots off the pot, that's the problem. So yeah, if I wanna do like a spot off the pot, I would need to take the roof off. So I'm not sure yet about that. I will have to figure that out. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this Elimination Chamber. Um, this was always a place that I wanted so bad as a kid. Like, I would always look at that online and say, man, I want this thing. This is so awesome. It would be so much fun to play in here. But yeah, now now I have it. Now I can use it for my pick fed, which is a fun thing too. So yeah, I'm not going to make like a WWE figure match of me playing in there. Like, <laughs> I don't really know. I'm not really doing that. But yeah, this is the setup. Let's take a look at it again from here, from up here. I think it looks so awesome. Uh, really cool. This is still the GCW Rumble stage. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys did enjoy this little WWE figure vlog here today. If you did, make sure to leave me a like. That would be appreciated. And yeah, make sure to leave me a comment as well. Yeah, really cool figures, really cool chamber, and we're going to use this for a lot of good content moving forward, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys a lot for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.